Hello YouTube, it's Rosted here, and I was just recently thinking while I was downloading some apps, you know, why not do a What's on my iPod Touch 6 generation? So without any further ado, let's get started. Okay, so we're going to first start out with the home screen. So, um, just right here you have your home screen. I have Skype, I have Google Hangouts, you know, who doesn't have those? Everybody has Skype, it seems like. And down here I have YouTube, who doesn't have that? And Gmail, because that's my main email account. Everything, you know, everything is just the built-in apps, never use news, well, really ever. The only time I ever use news, um, read the news, is when there's absolutely, like, let's just, there's something as tragic as, like, 9-11 happening, which hasn't happened in, uh, like, a good couple years, so hopefully it won't happen like that again. And also, you got their camera photos app, which I use all the dang time. I have the app store and stuff like that, you know, all your built-in apps, basic. Sometimes I check the weather, and I use the clock for timers, so, yeah. Right over here, we have all my apps. Um, it doesn't go any further than that, it's just there. Right here we have Hub, and I'm not going to go into it because of privacy reasons, but Hub is where, it's like a reminder, like a family reminder. Like, I have it synced up with my family's devices. For example, if I um, do a reminder on the calendar, and I say, like, um, like, Christmas Day, December 25th, I don't know why I would do that. Just for example, demonstration purposes. Um, and then everybody would get a notification, and it would be reminded when that when it comes close to that time, like, go to the grocery store at 3.30 p.m. at 3.00. 3 p.m. it would say go to grocery store in 30 minutes so yeah completely reminder because we tend to progress well I at least tend to procrastinate a lot so yeah and I we also got I also got keek which is a social media kind of app um, it's 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 like vine only it allows you to do 36 seconds of video instead of six seconds Basically, I had a 30 seconds of video to mix. It's not as popular as nearly any of the other social media apps, but it's really funny because I really like to post funny videos on it. You're probably wondering why I won't, why I don't have Vine if I have Keek, but you know, whatever. I'm not huge on social media, but uh, but I'm huge on you. But I'm not saying I'm huge on YouTube as in popular, but. I'm more onto YouTube than literally anything else. But I like to go on here occasionally. In fact, I can go on here because my profile is the same name as my channel, at least. I have my old picture here. I post funny videos. Like, I post videos. Like, like here, some YouTube poops can be disturbing. And then here, how do you get lots of views on YouTube? Like, something new to my set. You can always just slap some tits or a butt on your video thumbnail and get millions of views anyway. All I do is win, 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 no matter what. Um, right next to that, we have iCloud Drive. Now, I use iCloud Drive because it syncs up with iMovie, and um, so basically I can upload footage to my laptop on iCloud Drive, get it in iMovie because it's synced over the cloud here, so it's very convenient like that. Google Drive, that's my main thing on my Chromebook where I mainly store. I store tons of stuff on Google Drive. I store tons of it. I got tons of folders. I mean, look at this, D3300. This was actually the time I went to the um, Rock Hill, South Carolina Donald Trump rally. I got tons of photos up here. I like, I really like to upload all my photos to here because I don't want to, you know, hard drives, they are annoying. This is like the best alternative to hard drives I can probably think of. It's so useful to have all my stuff. I have tons of sound, like sound, like if I'm downloading sound from like NCS, I'll get it on NCS on YouTube, on MP3, upload it here and get it on, because I edit all my videos and videos on my iPod, including the one you're seeing right now. So it's very convenient to have all the um, photos and videos. Actually, I might not edit on this time. I might do the YouTube editor because it's long. And also, you know, it's just so convenient to have all the photos and videos right here without filling up SD cards and hard drives and all that kind of stuff. I have tons of photos, photos and videos. I mean, it's just crazy. I've only used like seven gigabytes uh, or six, seven gigabytes of my 115 gigabytes. You barely any of it. And I got all this stuff on. So very, very convenient to have. Um, so right here are my games, extras, product, it just, I'm just gonna get this over. I got voice memos, which I use sometimes for voiceovers, but don't really do much anymore with voiceovers. I will use that sometimes, though, so don't rule that out completely. I also got reminders, which I rarely ever use. And here I just have these apps behided behind. Like, whoever uses these? 
I mean, I can't imagine who ever uses Z. I just keep those back there because I want to hide them. I don't want to have them. Oh, crap. Yeah, I don't want to have them right there. I also have calculator right there in productivity just because. Right here is my video and photo editing. Now, I have Photo Transfer App. If you know what Photo Transfer App, I don't need to explain, but you probably don't. Photo Transfer App is where you can transfer your photos from your devices, like your iPad to iPod or Chromebook to... I, I usually transfer my photos and videos from my Chromebook um, to iPod. So I plug my camera into my Chromebook, transfer the photos and videos from my Chromebook to my iPod, and that's how I usually get my photos and videos to my iPod to edit on. So... A very. This is probably the best app on this. Here's Photo Transfer app. I mean, just it's the best. It's such a workhorse. It's it's great, great app. Go download it. It's free on the App Store. It's it's such a good app. It's such a great app. It's never given me too many problems either, so don't worry about that. Um, you do need a good, solid Wi-Fi connection, or else it's gonna go slow as a turtle. But you know, if you got do have a good, solid Wi-Fi connection, it'll work like a charm. <laughs> Photoshop Express. Now, I have Photoshop Express because, you know, if I'm messing with photos that I'm taking, I mean, my camera from my 4th generation to my 6th generation is massively improved. So I do like to fiddle with, like, photos and videos and stuff like that, so I'd love to load up on editors. Photoshop Express, it's free on the App Store. Um, it's, ve it's very, really good in just, you know, cap just editing light, like, kind of um, doing the exposure and light and stuff like that. It's just good basic photo editing. It's like, if it's overexposed, I'll do that. Just good to have with me. Here I have Photo Editor. One, the reason why I have two and I just don't use Photoshop Express is at least have I, at least have I seen that Photoshop Express does not have a text feature. I haven't seen that yet, so I have to check again. I haven't used a thing in ages. But I have this because it allows you to add awesome text features, and if I'm doing that for something like... Um, like s something that I want to do, like if I'm taking a photo, I want to add text into it, I have that one. As far as I know, Photoshop Express cannot add text, but I have to go revisit that and check it out. I think there was an update not too long ago. Here I have iMovie. Anybody who likes to edit photos and videos on their iOS device needs to have this app. I don't have any projects right now, you know. I use I don't use iMovie on I use iMovie on a regular basis. It's such it's such a nice app. It's not the best photo and video editor on the App Store, of course not. I actually got this as a good Christmas deal on sale. Got it for free instead of its original five dollar price tag. I got it for free for like a Christmas deal or something like that. Great, great deal on this app. Now, iMovie, of course, is not the best one. That's why down here I have Pinnacle Studio. Now, Pinnacle Studio, it's a much more powerful app. I recently switched from CubeCut to Pinnacle Studio because CubeCut can't do 1080 so far. I will probably switch back to it if it can do 1080 because Pinnacle Studio is not as powerful as CubeCut. CubeCut's like Premiere Pro on iOS, but CubeCut, Pinnacle Studio is like the final cut. It's me. I don't see if it's being... I mean, this is a really good app too. I mean, it allows you to do picture in picture really fast. It does let you do 1080p. If you get the 1299 version, this is the three dollar version. But if you get the 1299 version, it lets you do 4K. So great app. So that is it for the video and photo editing. Now, Pinnacle Studio. Just let me go into it real quick. I don't. Of uh, just of course, I don't have any current projects on it right now. Usually, I use iMovie if I'm doing a more basic edit, like if I'm doing like a vlog. I usually, if I do something like a vlog or a short video that I don't need much heavy editing on, I usually use iMovie. If I need to do more edit, advanced edit that's maybe a bit longer, like a like a comparison, I will use um, Pinnacle Studio. So here is my game section. Here are my is it is or are? Mom, you tell me. You're the grammar police. So, here is my game section. Now, lots of these games are really fun to play. I play most of these games on a regular basis. Now, Trains Driver 2, I have that game. Just It's a, such a fun train simulator on iOS. I mean, you can build your own worlds. I usually play it on my iPad a little bit more because of the bigger dang screen. It's so nice to have a bigger dang screen. But when I'm on the go, like if I'm on a travel trip, I usually don't take my iPad because I want to take my Chromebook instead for my cameras. Um, things so usually it's good to have all the apps I do on my iPad on my iPod. This luckily is available for iPhones, so I can get it on this. Um, there is Train Simulator 2, which is one more expensive and two only available on iPad. So I'm glad I got the Trains Driver 2, which is it doesn't feel much um, different. It means based on Trains Trains Simulator 2. Here I probably have the most addicting, most fun, most enjoyable game on the App Store. It's called it's Hill Climb Racing. Hill Climb Racing, it's, it's, it's so fun. 
I could play this for hours and hours and hours upon hand. I mean, this is just... This, I don't know how to explain it. This is probably just so fun. Such a fun game to play. I don't know why it's so fun to play. I, I mean, I really don't know why it's so fun to play. It's just, it's, it's unbelievably addictive. Like, when I'm, like, this is the number one game I'll play if I'm bored or anything, waiting at a, waiting at a something place. Like if I'm waiting for a dentist appointment or something. And this is, like, my number one app. This is just the perfect app for anything. I mean, it's so fun to play. Um, I mean, I can't imagine what other games one of this. Crossy Road, I used to have that, but I never really played it. Here I have a game that was five bucks. And by the way, this one's free, but this was five bucks. Infinite Flight Flying Simulator. I love to play this game. More on my iPad, because, again, the bigger screen helps so much. But, um, Infinite Flight is, a, is probably the best flight simulator on the iOS App Store. I mean, it's a great, great flight simulator. You know, I'm not going to go into it because it takes a good bit to load, and also, you know, it takes long. But, um, I don't recommend Infinite Flight if you have an older device because this thing is graphic intensive. I'm so glad I have a good updated iPod for this app. If you have anything with less than one gigabyte of RAM and, like, anything, like, my iPad 4 has one gigabyte of RAM and an A6X chip. This has one gigabyte of RAM and an A8 chip. So, both of those can handle, they both seem to handle just fine. So, I recommend that you have a fast device for this, you know, powerful one, because this thing is graphic intensive. Even on, like, half or low settings, it's pretty graphic intensive, so, just recommending. But it's fun, I love to play it. Here I have Worth with Friends, mainly because I challenge my mom like heck to it. She's, like, a master at this game. Like, if you ever challenge my mom to Worth with Friends, or my mom's sister to Worth with Friends, they will kill you. They are, they are masters at this game, and I always like to get better at my spells, so, you know, why the heck not? I, I like to play this too. Everybody likes to play it. Um, I might think it's a bit cheesy to play this game. I know, um, especially since I'm a teen, I'm a 13 year old teenager. But you know, I like to play this game because it's fun. Just mainly because my, my mom plays it. It's like the only game she'll play. Um, also, I have probably the most, uh, the second most addicting game other than Hill Climb, Transport Tycoon. This I can play for hours. This, this game I can play for, I mean, it's just, I could, this is, that game, this game right here, I mean, this game I have tons of worlds on, that I have like 46 million dollars on. Like if I go to Jenny or Bastards or Weatherworld, like, Weatherworld I'm on like 2019, it's a great, great, great game, I love to play Transport Tycoon. And it is a bit expensive at six ninety nine. I mean, it's, it's on the more of expensive side, but, you know, you get what you pay for. I mean, I've never regretted paying for this thing. I've never regretted it. Here I have AT Online 2, um, Air Tycoon Online 2. It's a fun game to play because, you know, it just has Air Tycoon and stuff like that. It's worldwide players, so, you know, if you want to play with me, go ahead. It is free on the App Store, and also it's got pretty good graphics and stuff like that. I've got a decent world, although it is hard to make money in that game. You need to buy a heck load of planes, and they're way undervalued for actually how much money you make. Also, right here, I got Aviation Empire. I got this one recently. I like to play it just because, you know, it's easy to play. It's really fun to play. You make lots of money, actually, for the amount of money you get, so great value game. It's also free. It's actually by KLM, Royal Dutch Airlines, so... That's cool. And that is all the apps I have on my iPod Touch 6 generation. So, thank you guys for watching. Tell me which app is your favorite down in the comment section below. I'll try to answer that um, comment that you wrote. And also, what app on this iPod Touch would you get? Would, you know, just comment down below. And if you like this video, why not give it a thumbs up too? Did I already say that? I can't tell if I already said that or not. So, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next one.